makes these decisions. I'm kind of curious as to why a standard requisition lab sheet, one of these things you get from your doctors to go to the lab, why it doesn't have plasma thymine on there. I mean, I did a, a blog about why I think vitamin B1 is vitally important in the prevention of diabetes complications because we already know that thymine levels are important to um, neurological function and for glucose metabolism. So when you look at those, those two in the same situation and then you further down the line learn that thymine actually provides a protective mechanism in the blood for cell membranes of proteins the things that are used to regenerate tissues and organs that eventually show diabetes complications. Why this isn't something that's right up there with controlling blood glucose? We all know, those of us who monitor our blood glucose and have to treat it, um, you know, when your blood sugar is off, it's like um, things you don't even have the energy to do what you need to do. but. Um, but, you know, the, the whole effort and the whole reason we check our blood glucose and, you know, try and, and remain a good diabetic patient is because we don't want complications, right? So it's really not fair to be, you know, kicked in the groin all of a sudden and, you know, be the saint with controlling your blood glucose and then down the road, dot, 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 you end up with diabetes complications. No way, no how. That's not fair. You play by your rules. And then the, you know, the, the easy answer they sneak in there is, oh, well, you know, it's just diabetes. It's what happens. No. No, no. There is definitely a deficit in all... Um, majority of people with diabetes type 1 and type 2. It's an 80% deficit, and I don't know why these standard labs don't have thymine on there. I mean, you get your A1C checked, you should get your thymine checked. And while you're at it, they should check for the advanced glycation end products, the things that actually damage the proteins in the blood, causing complications. They know that they're pathways. They know that these AGEs travel through pathways. They know that thymine helps prevent these AGEs from having access to go and damage cells, DNA, and whatnot. I'm sorry. I guess the liberty I have in blogging, as opposed to being a medical practitioner or someone who's licensed to practice medicine, is that I like reading reports before they even get published. I like reading everything about research because this is my life. I'm a walking guinea pig and everybody with diabetes has been. I mean, the stuff that they bring to us is really, it's kind of, they're just taking a shot to see if it works. They've continually been preaching that it's blood glucose and blood glucose alone, we need to focus on that. Then they recently introduced the whole lipid you know, deal, and of course, watching your blood pressure. This is right. Those, that's a trifecta, but there's something more. There's a protective mechanism that is absent in the body of a diabetic. So I think that thymine, that's my justification for why thymine's important. Um, have you asked your doctors to check your blood thymine, or are they, do they just look for the enzyme test? There's a definite distinction between the two. And I'd like to know, you know, what your doctors are saying about this. And are they even looking for research that's out there, just hasn't been, you know, proudly touted in the JAMA or the, the medical journals that they read? It has been, but apparently it hasn't been loud enough. So um, thanks. Thanks for listening here on Allie's Voice. If you want more, go to Allie'sVoice.com and subscribe. Or check me out on YouTube next time. Bye, everybody.